Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Aka here. Uh, in this video, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do some live and key, niche and keyword research for you. Um, this is gonna be unscripted. I have I took a couple notes of some things, some interests of mine, um, and I got them down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my best and see if I can find some profitable. Uh, yeah, well, we're going to determine if these niches could be profitable, uh, and we're going to take a look at some keywords to see, uh, hey, what could these, uh, you know, would these, would I go into these niches? Basically, that's what I'm going to show you. So um, you got to excuse the noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but they uh, drive up and down the street right around quarter to six on bread from their car in Mexico. It's, you know, it's only here. But uh, so let's kind of dive into it and, uh, and uh, I'll walk you through my process, uh, what I teach my students in the blueprint, uh, exactly how to find uh, the best stuff. So let's, let's dive in. So first things first, um, Amazon's recently made an update and uh, it's weird because on some of my browsers, I'm not actually seeing the drop down menu anymore. Uh, you have to go over to departments, oops, okay, departments. Books and Audible, Kindle Books. All right. All right, so the first place you want to go when you're looking for your keywords and your niches are the Kindle Best Sellers. Absolutely not. Do not look for the Kindle Best Sellers. That's just going to set you up for failure. So what I'm going to do is I got a couple things I wrote down. I wrote down Baby. I wrote down Mom. I wrote down Survival. I wrote down like How to Build things and do it yourself. So those are just some of the ideas or niches that uh, uh, we're going to take a look. So the first one, baby. So what I, what I do, literally, I just type in the word baby and uh, you can see some weird stuff shows up here. So let's take a look here. Okay. So, okay. So you know, here, here, here's one. So crocheting for baby. So why don't we take a look at that actually? See if there's anything, anything uh, worth checking this out. And uh, okay, okay. So first thing I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the t the first six books here. So three, three, four, five. Six. All right. All right. So what I want to do is take a look at the best sellers rank. Okay. So best sellers rank is down here. So we're looking at just under thirty thousand. That's a good start. Sellers. Ooh, two nineteen. Not good. Three thirty nine. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this. Yeah, all right, so strike one, crocheting for babies. Not very good to get into. Uh, let's see if we just type in babies. Let's see what type of stuff comes up. See, these are all gonna be fiction. So let's just see babies, see what comes up again. Okay, so a lot of fiction stuff. I wonder if there's a way to look only in nonfiction. I don't know if there really is. Okay, nonfiction babies. Ah, okay, okay, this looks a little baby. <laughs> looks a little baby, looks a little better. Um, Nothing really stands out. This might just be not a, maybe my keyword babies is a little, little too, uh, too, too broad. So why don't we do this? Let's, let's check out crochet, crocheting, I guess. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, 
four, five, six. So what we do, right? So we want to take a look. We type in the keyword, which I've done, crochet. Then we're gonna open up the top six books and we're checking their bestseller rank. And we want something that's gonna be under 100,000 bestseller rank. The lower, the better. Uh, this book I think we looked at already was 30,000, right? Right down here in the paid Kindle store. Ooh, 400,000, horrible. 25,000, okay. Ooh, 7,500, not bad. 173 and 42. Okay, so what was that? Was that like 60%? So 173, no, not even, 80%, right? Because it's only two that are over over a hundred thousand, right? I just write that down. Crochet. I'll put two of six. And uh, so, for example, so what would I do with this particular niche with only two of the books, or rather, it's four of the books, four of the top six books for the keyword crochet uh, under a uh, hundred thousand. Uh, what I would do is I'd, I'd put this on my watch list. I would just, you know, keep an eye on this niche over the next few weeks and see how it changes. Because remember, the bestseller rank, it changes literally every hour. And so sometimes books get thrown in here. Nobody knows how. It's just a weird Amazon thing. They get thrown in here and uh, like the top six books, five of them will be well under 100 and you'll have one at like 800,000. You're just like, how does that work? I don't know, nobody knows. But uh, so I'll just put this on watch and see if those other ones kind of disappear and then boom, this might be a great category to, to get into. And I'm just gonna test something out here. If I just do crochet in the Kindle store, it should, yeah, it brings up pretty much the exact same book. So that doesn't affect anything there. Um, all right, so that could be one. Let's close these up and let's see what else we can do. And you'll notice, so I'm using my uh, incognito, my uh, browser here. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want any of my previous history or any of that to skew any of the results whatsoever. So I'm trying to make this as uh, as fresh or, or as as, uh, as new as, as, as can be for you, uh, for all of you. So you can uh, really just see it from the beginning. So I wonder what other baby, baby, uh, things we could think of here. Um, you see, if this was live, you guys could be giving me keywords, but I'll figure out how to do this whole YouTube live thing at a later date. Okay, baby, baby, what does Juliana Hander like to do? Oh no, baby, baby. Let's type in baby again, but we're probably just gonna get a whole bunch of these weird romance fiction, or yeah, romance fiction books. Baby names. Let's see that, or actually, let's see. Here's another little tip. So what happens is you're typing in baby and Amazon tells you, hey, these are the most popular, most popular um, keywords that are typed in. So like baby names, for example. Let, let's just see if this has something. Some cute photos. I love that. That's adorable. All right, you can tell I'm a father. All right, let's take a look. Baby names. Is it going to be profitable or not? What is that? That's a long. Wow. Okay, so sixty-seven thousand. Good. Fifty-five thousand. Good. Seventy-three. Good. 21, oh, we're looking good, looking good. 50, isn't this exciting? 50,000 again, 
Have we done six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we got a winner. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too loud for you guys. See, I have fun with this because this is like, hey, this could be like the next, you know, like if I, I'm not doing baby names, somebody out there could do baby names. So I write down baby names. Should we just see this bonus one? Oh, 101. Look at that. I couldn't have planned this out any better. Look at that. That'd be a good to go in my books. We got six for six. Our, uh, uh, good to go. And uh, that's awesome. So the, yeah, so this definitely could be a profitable niche here. Now, a little tip. This whole Amazon bestseller rank, you have to understand how it works. For example, um, my estimate, like if you're taking the weight loss niche, a, a book that's going to be at a hundred thousand bestseller rank in weight loss will sell significantly more than a book that is going to be a hundred, like that's going to have like, for example, baby names, which is at a hundred thousand. The reason being is weight loss is such a much larger niche. There's going to be way more books in weight loss. So at 100,000, it might still be selling a decent amount. Whereas you take a smaller niche like baby names that we're doing and at 100,000, no, you would need that baby names. It might have to be closer to 40 or 30,000 to sell the equivalent of a weight loss book at 100,000. So these are the things that I just keep in mind, right? Uh, you know, that's why ideally I look for books that are under 50,000. That, that's, you know, if I find, uh, you know, if I find a niche here, find it today, and uh, you know, I find six keywords and they're all under 50,000, like I'm, I'm gonna throw a couple books out and, uh, and go with that because that's, that's, that's good. So uh, anyway, so baby names, that's exciting. That's cute. Look at these, all right? I hope there's all, a whole bunch of cute photos in here. Probably not, because it's just a whole bunch of names, but it's all good. All right, so hey, we found one. What is that, our second or third try? Uh, it turned out a little better than I was anticipating this was gonna go. But let's let's take a look at uh, some other here. All right, so um, let's see. Is uh, oh, okay. Well, so this is interesting. Baby name books. What about baby names for girls? Right. Let's see if that uh, we're getting into a more of a longer tail keyword. But you know what? No, we won't. I won't. We'll we'll switch up the niche. Um, you know, one thing I, I teach my students in the blueprint is how to find related keywords and how to make them work. But uh, uh, well, let's switch up the switch up the niche, do something fresh. Uh, let's do moms. Yeah, moms. What what are what are some things that uh, we can do with moms? Oh, let's just type in moms. Yeah, this is what I thought. We're gonna get a little too much romance, erotica, and stuff we don't need to be pulling up right now. Okay. Um, 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 um. All right, no, you know what? Scratch that. Let's do cameras, photography. Let's see if anything, uh, well, yeah, maybe there's something going on here. Okay, photography. So that looks like an autobiography. So we don't want, I see what happened there. We can start, right, we're good still. All right, well, let's just pull them up.
photography actually I, I see what so we need we, we would have to we can't use photography as a keyword because it needs to be something smaller than photography um, darkroom Because photography would be the overall, would be the niche, where darkroom would be essentially the keyword, right? So let's see if these are going to be profitable. Darkroom, all right. So at 921, nope. Yeah, now these are just, yeah. Yeah, so absolutely not. So not that, not that, all right. Okay, let's take a look at uh, maybe some survival techniques. So, uh, Kindle Store Survive. Let's see. Okay. All right, so that looks like a. Oops, that one looks like a fiction book. Okay, what is that? Five. Did I get the hundred deadly sins? Soul survivor. I'm just skipping these fiction ones that are sneaking in here. Probably because I need to be looking at a more specific. Uh, more specific, um, like survival hacks, for example. Yeah, see, that's better. Because if you go too broad, you're going to get those type of res uh, those type of uh, results, and uh, that's just not going to help. Let's take a look. All right, so 135, not off to a great start. 137. Forty. Yeah, no, that's not gonna be good. That's too new. So yeah, no, that's not good. Let's see if there's any um Sometimes I'll kind of take a look at these, see if there's anything a little sim similar uh, to, um, let's take a look at this. I don't really understand what this backyard homestead is. All right, let's see. Now, one thing I'll point out is, one of the things I say I teach my students is come up with like the list of 20 or 30 or more of your, your passions and your interests. Uh, I didn't do that for this exercise just because I'm doing this for more of, so you can just kind of see the, the process, what I look for, and you know, it takes time. Um, but by doing that, then you really have a list of, you know, niches and then Keywords, remember, the thing about keywords is they're really just search terms. They're just search terms of how people would ask or search for that information that, uh, that you want to give them. So let's take a look at this. Uh, all right, so 6,400 in the paid store. Did I skip? Nope. All right, 6,400 in the paid store, 43,000. 
too new. 504. So not great. Not great. Um, you know, maybe, yeah, it's just not great. I wonder if there's anything else around that. God, I see, I don't know enough about these type of things to think of what the actual keywords would be. I think homestead is something, but, right? I'm pretty sure homestead means something. That's kind of a trendy thing in this day and age. Okay. All right, so I think this is the one we saw already. That was like, yeah, 6,400. So 34. 178, 43, 235. No, so no, this is not really something, um, there might be similar keywords you could figure out, but uh, not. Uh, I, I don't have enough knowledge on, on that type of uh, thing. Camping, why don't we take a look at camping? Not campling, camping. So maybe we need bushcraft. Camping is obviously too general. Let's see if it, uh, camping. Did we do bushcraft? Was that one we did already? I can't remember. Oh well, let's just take a look at it quickly. Now, another thing that you can do to speed this process up is use something called Kindle Spy. And I guess it doesn't show up on my incognito browser, but I have it on my, um, on the regular one. And what it does is I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a link in the description um, box for uh, for discount on it if you want. But um, instead of having, see how we're opening up each tab to get the info? What Kindle Spy does is you click it and it'll actually just pull up all the info for you on a little pop-up window and it'll just show you all of uh, all the info right there. So it's uh, it's super handy. Let's take a look at these. 17,000, 54,000, ooh, wow, 1,000, ooh, 52, 52, brand new book, no, that's strange, why doesn't, so why doesn't that one have the bestseller, all right, let's just go to the top. 64 cents for Kindle. That's just so strange. I don't really understand why. Why is it 64 cents? They obviously had includes. Right, this is this is a self-publisher because they make these. I don't want to insult anyone who's in case this is their book, but this description's crap. This, yeah. yeah. That's one thing I really like my descriptions, I, I take time on them because here's the process, right? They, they go through, okay, so where's the main page? So we go through, as a customer, right, we go through, what are we looking at? We're looking at one thing at this point. We're looking at the cover. That's it. We go, we go, we go. We're like, hey, wait, this one stands out. I wonder if that's the one that we're was actually talking about. No, it's whatever, I'll click on it. That, that cover stands out. So I click on the cover, it, it is, right? I like the cover because it stands out, it caught my eye, okay? It's like a s simplistic cover. Okay, so cover. Now you might look at, okay, glance over the reviews. Yep, four stars, whatever, that's cool. What's this book about? You click this and you look at this. 
You're like, that's not space nice. Right, do. It just looks like they forgot to, you know, that looks like that's a mistake. There's just, there's no effort in the description. Your description is your sales page. Your description entices me to buy the book. With a, with a basic, basic kindergarten description here, you're not enticing anyone to really buy this book. So, I don't know, that's just, that's my thought. I, I put a lot of thought in my description and, you know, it's, uh, I teach my students how to use this. Uh, it's like this HTML generator that I found, and you you just make you, you make the description the way you want, but then you're able to highlight. You can bold. You can make you know use different headers. You can italic underline, and uh, it just gives you the code, and you boom put it in your you put all the HTML code inside your uh, description box on your KDP account, and it makes a beautiful looking description. Um, but uh, I still don't understand why there's no uh, bestseller rank, but whatever. That's not, that's not neither here or there. Let's keep looking. What's this one? Okay, so I believe every single one was under uh, 100,000 except for that one there. So let's just confirm. Yeah, yes. Yes. Ha oh, ha, look at that, huh? So what is this keyword? This is bushcraft. I don't really even know what that is. I do know it could make some money though. So that's kind of neat. And you know, one thing I'll point out here, you'll take a look at this. It looks like there are a lot of, um, like, I don't want to say actual authors, but you know, this Dave Canterbury, I don't know if that's a self-publisher or it's an actual dude, but uh, it kind of dominated the market. And maybe because this is such an untapped market, I don't know. Uh, that is why they're selling their Kindle books for so much higher. But usually people who are doing that is because, they're, you know, it's probably an actual guy who's actually driving traffic from his web page to Amazon. That's why he's able to sell it so much higher than than you know our traditional 2.99 uh but yeah no this could be a could be a potential niche for somebody to get in there i know if i saw you know a good book for uh 2.99 instead of one of these ones i might jump on that he does have a ton of reviews so he obviously does have um some outsource or some outside traffic coming in and uh and helping there just an established author author Who's, uh, his, who's grown his brand over, over the years, probably. So kudos to him. But hey, that, uh, that one does work there. Bushcraft, and I'm sure there's some similar keywords to that, like trapping, gathering, cooking. Let me just see if trapping. Let's see, we got that book again, and mountain man skills, and... Right, so, so see how you kind of evolve from that. You, you go from one, you go to another, and you just keep looking around to see, hey, I, I got one, right? And, and you know, this is what I call like in the video, right? Right here, what you're looking at is, uh, what did I call it? It's called the wooden chair books, like the how to build the wooden chair books. These are not self-help. These aren't cookbooks. These aren't health and fitness or anything. Right, these are these golden little niches that you can find. You can find. You could. Those of you watching and like you know a little bit more about bushcraft than I do, you could probably start thinking of like ten or twelve other keywords that I'm not even thinking about. Do some quick research, and boom, you got a whole niche that you could get into. So that's the type of thinking that I, I I'm trying to to show you guys that, that you can do. It's not just the self-help and those other niches. Those are good niches. And yeah, of course, like, you know, somebody commented that, you know, he's made his couple hundred bucks with self-help. And well, yeah, of course, you're going to make money in those niches. Of course. But, um, you know, from my experience and speaking with people who've been much more successful than I have, 
you know, getting into those in the beginning, it's a lot harder to, to sustain your success long term because of the amount of books that are that are in the niche. But uh, so hey, that's uh, that's one. So um, you know, bushcraft survival. Okay, so how to build? Let's see um, how to how to build. All right. Let's just type in how to and see what happens. None of those are going to really help. So how to build, how to do it yourself. Let's see. It yourself. Kind of a neat idea. Let me see if I can type in. Uh, oops. Kitchen. Let's see if anything comes up under kitchen. Just thinking like rooms of the house. House is there. Um, you know, anything, oh, comedy seems to be a good niche that, uh, you know, doing these type of books and I know quite a few people have been doing that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can to stay away from the traditional, like, uh, you know, we could type in. puppy training and uh, super, super profitable niche. But uh, everybody does examples on that. So I'm really trying to trying to think outside the box, outside the box for you. So you just gotta bear with me, right? Cause I said I was gonna do this live. So I didn't want to write down uh, I don't want to write down anything because I wanted to try to make this as as uh, as I am in your shoes, so to speak. There are some other ones. Herbs. All right. So I'm talking about kitchen herbs, not the other kind of herbs. Let's see if there's something. So growing herbs. I wonder if we, can you know, if we were talking about we might get a little herb garden. You know, some oregano, some rosemary, some thyme, cilantro. Get some of those going. Uh, so let's see. Maybe there's something going on in here. Okay, so we've got our six books up and open. Let's take a look. Ouch, not a good start. Better. All right. Oh, look at that. Getting excited with me? Ooh, ah, watch list. What was this keyword? Growing herbs. Growing herbs. All right, this is going to the watch list because I believe it was four to the six. We're good to go. 
just like our, our crochet, one of our first ones. So I'm going to watch this niche. I'm going to watch this keyword. I'd probably play around in it a little bit more. Like here, this person, boom, here's a, how to plant, how to plant and grow, or, you know, how to plant. Let's just type in that. You know, once again, steal from the best and steal with pride, right? You see a book that's doing well, say, hey, you know, let's take a look at it. We're talking about descriptions. Let's take a look at descriptions. Okay, so this is much nicer. It's it's laid out a lot nicer. Uh, I kind of make this a little more, more catchy, just or more pleasing, but it's easy to read. It's all right. Here's a preview of what you can expect. But, you know, and then when I see this, it's like. Think of other ways of doing it, right? Make yours stand out. Don't. Here's a preview of what you can expect to learn. Like every single book on Amazon has that line. Like come up with a better way of like, you, you know, you know, growing herbs is going to teach you all about all of these things. You know, the history of herbs, right? Like something like that. Just something other than that canned line. I hate canned stuff because it's just so. Like when you're different, when you're unique, when you're just not following everyone else, you get way better results, way better results. Um, so it's, uh, yeah. But anyways, hey, this uh, growing herbs, it could be, uh, could be something, right? Let's take a look at uh, bringing up how to plant and we're just gonna kind of see where that goes, right? So like, look how look how fun this is. We went from from baby to crochet stuff to baby names to like bushcraft to growing herbs to plants. So a perfect mix. How do you use a Vitamix? This looks like a book I would, I'd enjoy. Okay, all right, let's bring up these. Okay. All right. Ooh, 165, not a good start. 39,000. One thirty-eight. Ooh, no. Eighty. No, that is not going to be a very strong keyword. So once again, the niche might be good. For example, this planting niche or whatever, but um, the keyword that we chose is not good. Planting. It's like a fiction book. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Nope, 229. 345, yeah, no. It's not going to be good. 35,000. 79. 100, yeah, no. So there's a couple low ones in there, but all the rest are too high, so. Uh, all right, let me do, um, I'll just do one or two more here. I, I hope that you're getting getting the overall process of this. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments if uh, you have questions or, or anything or want a bit more clarity. Uh, I, I do read all the comments, guys and girls, so, uh, you know, if you have any questions about a specific video or whatnot, just let me know in the comments. Uh, so DIY. DIY rather, right? Do it yourself. Did we do this one already? No. Yeah, 
no, no, that's gonna be too. Uh, I'm gonna probably need something a little, a little less broad. Hmm. Oh yeah, six hundred thousand. Yeah. No, no, not here. Yeah, no. Let's see if any of the sponsored stuff here. So we got crochets again, gardening. Did we do gardening? I don't think we just did that whole that. Gardening as a whole, right? That is one long bundle. That is just not nice to look at though. 24 books in one, uh -huh. but um, anyways, I, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Um, so that's really what I've been doing is that's essentially how I find my keywords and my niches. Uh, I start one with a list of passions and interests and stuff I have because if I can go off that, there's, there's a higher chance that I won't find uh, niches and things that are that are are too too competitive, um, because it's you know my own interests and stuff. Everyone has their own interests, and uh, those are those are really the the best niches to get into. But we did find some good ones: baby names, if you were taking notes, and bushcraft. Uh, we got on the watch list is what, what I do with it: crochet and growing herbs. So those, I'll just, you know, I'll put a little note and I'll check back every few days, see how they evolve and uh, keep watching those first four to six books. If I was gonna go ahead with baby names, what I, the, the next step would be, um, you know, just double check the competition. Didn't look too, 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 too bad. And uh, then go take a look at the covers and, uh, you know, get to work, go get it outsourced. And uh, yeah, get to work on my uh, baby names for, for 2017 or 2018, however I choose to market it. So anyways, guys, we're all done. If uh, you made it with me the entire time, congratulations. Hopefully you were able to kind of learn and see a bit more of my thought process on how I go into this. Now, there's one other thing I did not uh, talk about. Uh, for example, baby names and bushcrafts. Yes, they're profitable niches, but there's a third thing that I look at um, before I I, uh, I pull the trigger, so to speak, before I jump jump into that specific niche. That is one of the key things that we we talk about inside the blueprint. And um, this determining factor, it's this. Uh, it determines on whether or not your book's gonna get like that initial boost for a few weeks from Amazon and then fizzle off, or if it's gonna build that long-term sustainability. So um, that you gotta get in, in the blueprint. If you want more information on that, go check out myselfpublishingblueprint.com. There's gonna be a link in the description box below, and uh, you can find out about that. You can also, uh, uh, in the description underneath that link, um, I got a free five-step uh, guide. My, my uh, it's, what do I call it? It's my blueprint, the blueprint for your five steps for making your first thousand dollars in the line. Totally free, click on the link, enter your email, and uh, you can get that as well. So uh, just my gift for you, so you, you can uh, continue on your journey here and uh, you know make your first thousand dollars or uh, wh whatever you're trying to do here. So as always guys, I'm a Mecca. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section for sure. And uh, don't forget to like the video if uh, this helps you out and uh, we can do some more of these for sure. Talk to you later, take care.